a branch shall sprout from the root of Jesse, and the glory of the Lord will fill the whole earth, and all flesh will see the salvation of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As the days are drawing closer to the nativity of our Lord, with humility let us place ourselves before the Lord as we examine ourselves and seek God's mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose infallible word, the Immaculate Virgin Mary, received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that through her example, we may, in our humility, Hold fast to the will of God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself, coming either from the depths of Sheol or from the heights above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, House of David, are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience of my God too? The Lord himself, therefore, will give you a sign. It is this, the maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son, whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. 
Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Key of David, who opened the gates of the eternal kingdom, come to liberate from prison the captive who lives in darkness. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a child, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people call barren, is now in a sixth month. For nothing is impossible for God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The days, the days are drawing closer to the birth of Christ. Today we step into the life of Mary in the story of Christmas. If you remember on the weekend, just on Saturday, we had the story of Joseph, the Annunciation of Joseph, which was from the Gospel of Matthew. Today we have the Lucan narration of Mary's Annunciation. Yesterday we stepped into the story of the visitation, Mary bearing the person of Jesus in her life, with haste went to the house of Elizabeth and experienced that tremendous, overwhelming, joyful experience. But today we are going to a story that preceded the whole experience of the visitation. It's called the Annunciation of Mary. And the words in today's gospel is filled, it's rich. The language is so much of how the angel appears to Mary and says, The Lord is with you. You are highly favored. You are the most blessed among all women. The Lord has granted you this grace, this fullness of grace. 
And you begin to see how Mary responds to that very experience of God in her life. She says, yes, at once, thy will be done. Let it be done according to thy will. When you step into this story, you find this in contrast to King Ahaz in the book of, or the reading of Isaiah today. Ahaz was a very wicked king, a very wicked king. If you begin to study his, the journey of the reign of King Ahaz, he was filled with adultery. And he had his strength in the Assyrians. He had no strength in God. And Isaiah said to him, God is going to be with you. God will show you a sign. And in this whole experience, King Ahaz had his own dreams. He said, no, no, no. I'm not going to tempt God. I'm not going to ask God anything. Because King Ahaz had his own plans. He had his own dreams. He had his own vision. He had his own will. And Isaiah said, God is patient. God is patient. Not the patient of man. But God is patient with you. God will give you a sign that God is with you. Ahas, he will give you a sign. Emmanuel, God is with us. Mary, you see how she responds to that invitation when God knocked at her door. At once, she opened and prepared the way. Just two things that I found myself sitting with the gospel today. The first word was, listen, when the angel said to Mary, listen, Mary, listen. Always listen, Mary. To find the grace just to listen at the Lord during these days. As we are drawing closer and closer to the Lord, we need to listen. In the stillness of your heart, in the stillness of that silence, God will speak. We need to listen to Him. And secondly, with Mary, it was she waited on the Lord. You need to wait on the Lord. Because if it's not today, it might be tomorrow. If it's not this morning, it might be in the afternoon. If it's not in the afternoon, it might be in the evening. Just to wait on the Lord. Just to wait on the Lord. Because it's a process of responding to the invitation of allowing God into our life. Emmanuel. Just as the responsible psalm says, enter open for the Lord is coming. Open our hearts for the Lord is coming. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by our participation in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have all been awaiting for which our hope and faith bids us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up 
your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him. With love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us in watchful prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, Father, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with the host and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. We take this moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The angel said to Mary, Behold, you will conceive and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus.
Let us pray. Grant divine protection, Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give them joy and true peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the Synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.